Hey YouTube, welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to deploy our WordPress projects from our local host to the web. Um, so if you've seen our previous video, uh, you know how long does it take to actually create a local environment. You have to uh, install PHP, uh, you need to install a database, you need to create a database for your WordPress, you need to download WordPress, uh, you have to uh, combine all together, create a database for the WordPress, then go through the installation, then apply the team and so on and so on. Now, if we are about to deploy our project onto web in the old-fashioned way, you will have to do it exactly the same plus extra um, effort because you will have to buy some hosting, then connect via FTP, like hell a lot of stuff. So I want to show you the alternate way to do it. So we have our team here. And with the use of MDBCLA, which you uh, already know, uh, what you have to do, you have to simply navigate to your project location. So this is Teams MDB Sample 3 in my case, and simply type MDB uh, WordPress Publish. Now, enter the page name. So my new empty team email. Mm, let's go whatever for the sake of this video and it will start uploading files. Now, after a few seconds, you should see screen like this, which is gonna show you uh, address of your website. So this is our team, uh, actually our WordPress instance, and it's working. As you can see, it's my new empty team, mdbgo.io. It's uh, secured with SSL, and you can log into uh, your admin by going to WP admin, and you see your username and a password. Now, what is important here is that you have to write it down. Obviously, you can log in and immediately change it. And this is what I strongly encourage you to do so. Uh, as mm, this, um, if, you, if you close the screen here, you're not going to see this, uh, this data um, again. So just go there, navigate to users. Um, you can go to admin, edit, and you can change your password from here. So that's it. As you can see, we've done it with just like two minutes or even less. So uh, thank you for watching and keep coding.